is the most fun I've had with a plug-in instrument in a long time. What's up guys? A couple months ago, I bought a hardware synthesizer, the Prophet 6 by Sequential. I bought it because it produces beautiful sounds. Now, if you wanna know more about why I chose that synth and another synth that I have, the Korg Mini Log, watch this video. But today, I'm using the Prophet 6 as a MIDI controller. That's right, a $2,000 MIDI controller, which means I'm not even using the sounds, the beautiful sounds that this thing can create. Here's why. I'm controlling Omnisphere. With Omnisphere 2.5, you can control many aspects of the sound with an external hardware synth. There are a bunch of hardware synths that can control it, including some much cheaper ones like the Korg Minilog for $500. I'll demo that in just a moment. But let me tell you, using the Prophet 6 to control Omnisphere is the most fun I've had with a plug-in instrument in a long time. To use any of the compatible hardware synths with Omnisphere, you just need to select it from the hardware menu at the top. It maps all the controls automatically, so it's easy to start modifying controls because it's all labeled on your synth. In addition to controlling and modifying all of the Omnisphere patches, you get some additional patches in the hardware library. Actually, all the presets that are optimized for control on the various compatible hardware synths are here. So even if you don't have one of those hardware synths, you can access all of them. The Prophet 6 can control a bunch of different things. Oscillators 1 and 2 control the layers in Omnisphere. You can change the shape of the waves. Sub octave adds some bass to any sound. And of course, you've got the high and low pass filters. You can also control unison, envelopes, LFO, the arpeggiator, and even the effects. I love that the Omnisphere panels switch depending on which knob you're controlling. Controlling cutoff, it automatically switches to the cutoff page. If you're changing the shape of a wave, it switches to that page. It's so much easier than using the mouse to navigate different windows depending on what you want to control. Now let's hear what it can do in a song that I created. For this song, I'm using all Omnisphere patches and nothing else. The drums are coming from samples.
right, that was so much fun, but let's talk about a cheaper alternative, the Korg Mini Log. The Korg Mini Log is also compatible with Omnisphere, so you can control some things, but the Mini Log is much more limited with what you can control. some good results controlling the oscillators and changing the shapes and of course cutoff and resonance is always fun to play with but LFO was a bit more complex. I just didn't have as much fun controlling Omnisphere with the mini log than I did with the Prophet 6. So if you're looking for a more inexpensive option to control Omnisphere, I'd suggest looking at the Roland SE02. It's small, compact, and has a lot better control of Omnisphere and of course you get the hardware synth sounds that it makes. I'm not telling you that you should go out and buy a hardware synth just to control Omnisphere, but if you have a compatible synth lying around, I highly recommend that you give this a try. You're gonna have a whole lot of fun. Now, if you don't own Omnisphere, but you have one of the compatible hardware synths, this may be a good reason to buy Omnisphere. I mean, it's that much fun. And of course, Omnisphere has top-notch sounds just on its own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Keep making the music that you love and I will see you guys later.